I'm gonna I'm compelled to do another video on AliExpress. You can see it in date and time, you can see it over there. Before I'm gonna touch the issue with AliExpress, I will demonstrate to you the SMS box. This is what this is. This is from my phone. Uh, this one here that you see here, it says Hector Gustavo, that's that. And these are the SMSs that I have. Uh, I'm not sure that. Oh yeah, cool. You, there are just three of them. So this is not difficult. You can see it. You can see it yourself. I gotta make sure that you see it. The three SMSs. They are all. They were all sent on the February the twenty first. Uh, actually, one was also sent on January the eighteenth. We are talking about these two SMSs that matter now. The two SMSs that you see are going to be even a subject of conversation between me, therefore exchange at the main office, postal office, government postal office in the city of Novo Mesto, where the merchandise I have listed should be also delivered. Uh, Express One Slovenia, it belongs to the Austrian Postal Services. This is Express One uh, Slovenia. Uh, it belongs to Uh, Austrian Postal Services, right? Austrian government postal services of Austria owns the Express One. And they say it looks like they started in 2022 in Slovenia. This is this year. So This is this is these are the delivery they have. Uh, what I can tell you is that a cretin that you see right there uh, was involved in a torture. It's a very very sad sad stuff. This individual, I think, it's actually a Greek. He is not. Uh, he is not Slovenian. This guy is uh, Peter Umundum. He was involved in MKR for a very, very long time. This is again a pretin from London, basically. Uh, London was the one that involved one in this crime against me. And uh, Well, he graduated in Graz. I did not bother with it because I don't care about it. I'll be completely honest with you. Vienna, I thought he was a Greek actually, or at least had a father that was Greek, or whatever. What is this name? Umundo online shop. I was really sure that he is a that he is a Greek actually, but now I see this is Hungary. Uh, okay, so Hungarian, German, whatever it is, or whatever it is, um, it basically 
I'm not happy with this kind of stuff. It, it's probably not uh, difficult to tell. And I don't think that any one of you would be happy if you would have all the postal services, everything stolen, confiscated, and destroyed, vandalized. What is criminal that you see here, settled in Slovenia as a borrowed path or your request, This is a criminal that you see here. Slovenian nation went ahead and elected one as a president. It doesn't even matter to me whether they elected one or not. It's enough that I mentioned that he was in the crime just for other criminals. I don't think she should be elected. An individual under such a serious investigation, such a serious accusations, I don't think you should go for the president. You elect one as a president of the state when you have absolutely no conscience and when you basically you piss on the crime you have committed yourself to. In this case, this is extermination, this is genocide. And then you go ahead and you elect one so that you personally don't have to respond for accusations. So basically you bear no responsibility whatsoever for it. Extremely ignorant and uh, much more than just ignorant. Much more than that. He was the one who had him deliver one to Slovenia because he wanted to cover up for Slovenian postal services for the port of Slovenia. So we have our old postal service here that you see here. This is a government service. Uh, the people that work at this uh, postal office, they got to know this individual personally. He would stop by here regularly in our house and they would get to know him. But this is not the point because he could be another person. It doesn't matter. He just wanted to be the one because he was so also involved in this stuff. And they had these people that, you know, they just, uh, it was like a private club, basically. And as long as you were willing to commit yourself to crime, then basically they opened for you whatever chances, whatever the hell you wanted, whatever you wanted, whatever you, you were pleased, right? And so this, the, what I don't like about him is that he was a nice guy. That's one thing. But this, what bothers me about this guy is that he's going to get fucked. And really, it's not because I would want this way. You understand that? I would prefer to fuck maybe somebody else. I don't know. Uh, but um, he will get fucked, even that he is a nice guy. This is the point about this lesson, basically, that I'm giving you. Because why? Because I don't give a fuck if it's a nice or it was not nice or whatever it was. What uh, he committed himself is not a misdemeanor. It's a serious crime. I don't know how much he's aware of it, uh, but London believes that I suppose that anything can be done. Mentor of this criminal here that you see again is Ilan Uchan or an individual because of whom we have had Balkan war here in Slovenia also, not only Croatia, Bosnia, and on Kosovo. And, well, as you see, it's taking place right now in Ukraine. So I'm not happy about this. And when you affiliate yourself with the people like that, you are more than just liable for it you have to pay extra to this problem. I'm not talking about the money here. I am talking about the persecution-wise. So I hope that this job is going to pay you well, that it's going to compensate you for all the problems that are heading your way. This is a postal service, and the criminals of the postal service that you see right there were afraid together with the government uh, executives of the Slovenian Postal Services from Ljubljana and Maribor, 
that they would be the only one, therefore, the most exposed. Because this is a government crime, completely identical to the destruction of my teeth, the way they were breaking the teeth, they were causing the damage at the General Hospital Novo Mesto, at the dental department at General Hospital Novo Mesto. And so we were to cover their ass to create uh, collateral blame, they would go and they would hire private dentists, basically. Uh, police would take me also to the private dentists that they would also do the job. So they would not be exclusively them guilty of it. You understand? It's always they try to divide the blame, the fall, the shear. That's why I'm going to insist on the highest penalties for everybody, whoever was involved in it. Because it's calculated, because it's it's prorated, because they wanted to, through all kinds of uh, ways to, to find a way out, to divide the blame, the fault, uh, the financial problem and so on, and, you know. So they would not be, because otherwise, I don't know how this would end for some people. Uh, the point here is that must end in the same way as it would otherwise. It doesn't matter how many people was involved in it. What matters is, based on the crime, based on the degree of crime, they all get the same type of punishment. And that must be the most punishable crime. You must not assist. You must not go and basically create the revolution, the war and extermination procedure in a country of somebody else here inside of the European Union, you must not go and assist in this type of matters, in criminal matters like that. You must be then also guilty and charged accordingly to the law when you do the stuff like this. What exactly am I talking about here? I did stop by again here at this place here on February the 22nd and on the February the 23rd. Uh, after all, I got the letter from a Chinese seller who sold me a watch, Skmei watch, beautiful watch, which never arrived. And this poor guy is definitely he is certain that the watch is waiting on me at the postal office. Yeah, this, this poor guy is sure, he's certain, uh, he's, de he's definite, he's certain that this watch is waiting on me at the postal office. He says, please go, uh, don't worry, the, the watch is at the postal office. Please, one more time, he said, please go to the postal office, whatever. Friend, please go to the local post office to check. Because huh? what I did was I sent him video, audio, everything I had presented you with so that he could see, that he could check, that I'm making sure that I would get the item. So, in other words, the item would be delivered to me. So, I know that he does not understand uh, the procedure. Yeah. So he advised me, please go and see uh, 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 to the local office. Uh, he told me this, actually, he told me this on February the 16th. Okay. So when the item arrived at the local postal office, it stays there for 14 days, actually 10 working days, which is 14 days, two weeks. If nobody comes to pick him up, then they send the item back to wherever the item came from. You understand? Now, it's evident from my audio recordings, especially when it comes to this watch, that I frequently stopped at the postal office and I was making sure that I would get this item after all. Yeah, you can see that all the fucking time I stopped by and I intercepted and did every, absolutely everything possible that I would get this item. You can see here I stopped by Ah, you were able to see that already, ongoingly, basically, that I stopped by to get uh, to get this item, yeah? So, on February 16, he asked me one more time, please go and check for your item at the postal office. 
This, however, is not the only item that is not being delivered. There is a whole list of items that have been stolen, confiscated, uh, exchanged for the broken items, as you know, not only... Uh, I'm not waiting only on this item here. I'm still waiting for this item to come. This item simply does not come. There is no such thing. The item does not come. Yeah. Um, basically, I'm going to... For me to give you to give you a short story about this uh, about what this guy that I demonstrated to you that I tell you what this guy did you know what this guy you know what this individual what 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 he's doing this criminal basically he has an employee it's like a fat guy who was laughing at me during MK Ultra, and he stated, well, he said, uh, I am going to be literally watching on your computer, because this used to be another company before, that they also used to do the deliveries based on MK Ultra account. Uh, the only thing they did is practically change the name. Something in that sense is what I was told. Uh, the thing is that this individual, they, what, what they were doing to me is he was telling me, you're going to be talking about on the internet and demonstrating what packages are going to be arriving for you. Ha, 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 ha. And I will be confiscating to them. You know, make you like a mentally ill, like mentally sick. Doing its best basically to make you mentally ill, to make you mentally sick. I don't know how much Prince Charles understand, but I am age 52, and he's still working, basically, desperately to portray me to the world as mentally ill, as mentally sick. And that must the world must see one as very, very dangerous individual, as very, very mentally ill and very mentally sick, and as such also based on our friendship, special relationship that we had, very dangerous for the people in this world. Now, what I'm going to do is I will continue to record, I will continue to do, but I hope that by Tuesday, this is going to go to the police, and then we're going to deal forward with this stuff, which he's really, really good at this kind of stuff. He's good at pressing on a state officials, and using state officials to cause more harm through the local police and courts and stuff like that. He's really, really efficient. This is what these people, they are the fakest people, I think, in the world. More criminal, the fakers people, the smile and this and that. The greatest evil in the world is right there in front of you. There is none. There is no, no greater evil than what you see right there. Have a great display of great confidence, basically. Very, very confident, very, very chic. A lot of news that was involved in MKO brainwash, a lot of insults, by the way. At least you don't have to wear a cone, it was a postcard that he presented me that. At least I don't have to eat the psychiatric pills that are so terrible. I mean, in a really, really sadistic and sarcastic sense. I mean, this is really, this is incredible. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Incredible. Incredibly insultive. Incredibly, incredible stuff. Just simply, simply incredible stuff. Um, I had this fat guy, I don't know if they have him still, whatever the case might be. By the way, I hope you're going to hear me. 
and I gotta make sure that in case this ship is not gonna report talking talking about the laptop the police have provided me with I'm gonna have something I can use to protect myself. I do have both recorders on, yeah, secondary device. So that if I have to put the videos again together, that I have something at least, yeah. So when it comes to this here, they had uh, people that suggest they really laugh in my face during the so-called MK Ultra and suggested me, well, you know, uh, we're gonna open your mail and we're gonna look into your mail and we're gonna be watching what you have inside of your mail uh, and you're gonna be ordering this stuff and you're gonna demonstrate this to us on the internet and we're gonna see what's gonna be coming and it was a guy that was just claiming that he's gonna be stealing the stuff from me uh, nasty shit really really shit uh, there's another guy that was just we're going to keep this stuff and uh, after months I don't know what we're going to give you back and so on I told you about the postal workers and you're going to hear in a little bit uh, they insist that they're not going to give me my things till I'm going to post whatever they also demand in respect to locations and spare where they will be placing uh, mail and stuff like this. Uh, I mean, it was just like uh, treating you, mistreating you, laughing in the face, like, like treating you like you are shit. Uh, like you are like a child, yeah? Treating you like I was child, but like you're teasing a child like in a very, very mentally ill way, like in a very, very nasty way. That absolutely no child should be mistreated in that way if you understand me this is the type of approach mental illness this is the way they sicken with this kind of issues and the individual that who took responsibility and prided himself about it he was really proud about it is at a couch so this is a psychiatrist a criminal who have a private office uh, and who got referrals again the same the same type of crime the same stuff basically got referrals from a government from uh, psychiatric hospital Lugana Polia from the psychiatric association from people that they just dedicated himself to give him as much as clientele as possible he could make more as much money as possible in his private private office and so on so this is basically but the thing is that uh, this ladron like they say in spanish ladron you know ladron is a lopo a criminal gangster thug, thief uh explained to me you know he stated to me you know well, we travel to all these locations where you take us, you know, either to Asia or North America or these beautiful islands or Africa uh, and have a leisure, a good time, enjoying ourselves, having a woman, swimming, you name it, you know. Uh, it's basically, it helps us basically to, to live a good, productive and healthy and happy life because otherwise it wouldn't be affordable for us it would be affordable for us uh, but the thing is it would cost a lot and uh, for the cost of those trips and all that stuff we give this money to our children instead you know we do we, we have to make a combination like this so we have something of our life and we also get to leave something to our children so this is like a really really super 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 mentally ill stuff yeah this is like a really really sadistic uh, mentally ill, sickening shit that appears that British royals just don't have enough. Like it's more, 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 let's do it more. So we do it more because they like it like this. Yeah? You can see how the guy 
he's posing here in front of the camera. He he wants to be seen. I don't know, like a Josef Cesar from Vienna or something like that, like a Napoleon or something like that. This stuff here never was delivered that you see right there. Uh, the needles that you see right there never were delivered, any of them. The stuff that you see here never was delivered. Um, you, you, I hope I'm not going to be talking to you about the fucking dates because you, you get to see it, right? You get to see what the fuck this is. This was ordered on November the 5th, 2023. Uh, November 9, 2023. Uh, November 9, 2023. November 9, 2023. Uh, November the 25th, 2023. December the 9th, 2023. Never delivered. Uh, this is one glue uh, that did arrive. Uh, other glues did not arrive. Uh, ordered on February the 7th, 2024, I believe should be already here. Never was delivered. Ordered also on February the 7th, 2024, also never was delivered. Uh, ordered on February the 12th, 2024, uh, never ever was delivered. And I demonstrated you the watch also. I'm going to demonstrate you this also never was delivered. But what's interesting is uh, when you go to this, um, when you go to this uh, SMSs that I get, you're going to see how provocative, how disgusting that is. I mean, uh, and I'm glad that I got the SMS from these people because it appears that the number that I have, that everything is provided, uh, it's okay. And this one was ordered on January the 7th of 2024, right? So here's the date and time from online. That there's not going to be some conspiracy theories or something like that. You get to see uh, it's this here that you see. Yeah. And um, all this stuff is not being delivered. So the watch, again, I ordered one on January the 7th, 2024. And if you go to order details, this is all related to all other audio recordings that I provided, video recordings and stuff like this where this watch never was delivered. And they eventually made me sign for uh, another item, a theft, basically. They have given me destroyed items. These two items, I think this is what I probably, maybe I signed for this, or for those belts, whatever it might be, or whatever, whatever. It was all trashed already when they gave me anyways, whatever they gave me, so. But this is the story with the watch. Delivery failed, you see. February the 19th, uh, delivery failed. There is nothing, nothing new, nothing happening. Just simply delivery attempt on successful recipient not at home. I was not at home, okay. Postal Slovenian Postal Services in Novo Mesto, not at home. Uh, by the way, this delivery people, this private delivery people, make so many stories on uh, how they are not going to be delivered to the postal services of Slovenia this because uh, based on my internet stuff that I will do that I complain about that everything is destroyed therefore they will not do this and so on but you know too many stories uh, and uh, you know it, the whole thing is beyond 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 sickening it's beyond mentally ill shit the idea is obviously to murder individual. So he can have it right, right? So that's basic, basically, this is a job of the psychiatrist, right? So uh, they say here, delivery attempt unsuccessful. Uh, before I'm going to go into this issue, because this stuff was sent with the AliExpress shipping. 
uh, I really don't know uh, what exactly I would uh, I would say to this stuff. Uh, will be the best for me to refer you to the SMS that I got. I got this SMS here. Um, sorry. These are the two SMS that I demonstrated you, Spotovani. Vaš paket bo dostavljen med 8 in 18 uro. Sledite dostavi ali jo spremenite preko Express One Slovenija. This was a February the 21st. The February the 21st also, pošilka ni dostavljena neznani naslov prejemnika, prosimo, preverite pravilnost naslova preko strani, hvala za razumevanje. Now, if I go to this package, so that we go to this package, which I demonstrated to them at the local novo mesto police office, postal service, I demonstrated them. I came on, as you're about to hear, this is basically, I have the audio recordings prepared for you. Um, these are the audio recordings that go from February the 22nd all the way to February the 23rd, basically Thursday and Friday. Uh, the, the audio recordings, everything, it's all available. It's here. I discussed the issue of exactly what I have demonstrated to you already with them at the local postal office. They had no information. They were laughing at me, uh, all happy that one Express Slovenia, which are basically Austrian postal services, basically fucked me like this. It's all good, yeah? Very good, very good. Here, here it is. This is what this is, yes. Status pošiljka, pošiljka ni bila dostavljena, ker naslov prijemnika ni znan. Preverite in spremenite podatke z klikom na spremeni naslov. They don't know anything about where the postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto possibly could be. Can you imagine? Hard to find, I guess the building is too small, the address is wrong. I have no idea. Um... Here is the address, they listed the address, they don't know anything about the fuck this is. Nobody heard about uh, Slovenian postal services in Slovenia, I guess. This, they belong to the government, indeed, yes. So, if uh, you are in China, and uh, I would advise you to not use this Austrian postal services, this Express One Slovenia, because you got some really, really sick people there working there. I guess that this uh, gangster was not good for any other, or probably I should say fit for any other employment in Austria. So he settled for this one here in Slovenia, I guess. Uh, anyhow, the numbers end with 5917, as you see right there. Yeah, that's the way it ends. And... Pretty much that's exactly what I'm going to go and look into whatever was there listed under uh, the number, which nobody, I, I think this basically is the order number, and it's kind of strange because really it should give you a different number. Usually it gives you huh, the number that start in this case, it will start like with the HU, or I think it ends with the HU. This one just doesn't start with anything, basically. This is just stupid, man. It just says that they tried to deliver me this on February the 22nd. Uh, and it, it delivery failed, basically. So this is the top order that I demonstrated you. And that's the first one I'm going to go and record.
So this is basically for what you have seen right there. Oh, we're gonna close this down. Uh, these are the items I'm talking about. This is a watch also over there. Uh, two sweeping caps. That's all there is. Did not go through. Delivery attempt unsuccessful. Uh, estimated delivery. Uh, delivery March 6, 2024. Oh, basically, that's it. I don't think that they would sell anything if, if it worked like this. The next item that you see we're going to take is going to be this one here. This here. These are the two items, several items I'm going to do that I have not yet. Uh, it, they say I am waiting for delivery. Uh, and uh, then it does not give me any kind of information basically about uh, what what for me to expect uh, what for me to accept is uh, expect is there's a nine piece shaver six layer blade tool shaver stuff that you see right there based on mk ultra I remember it was police investigator that will purchase this already sometimes in 2014 beginning 2015 2014 and uh, one he broke uh, he broke me stuff here at home he started to fuck with the shaving blades because i was shaving myself like this and he started to buy this stuff from the internet from aliexpress for himself uh, he broke me several of these holders and blades uh, and promised me that I'm, whenever I'm going to buy this from the AliExpress, that he's going to break me, but that I will be able to repair myself through the glue, that I will be using a super glue, and I will be able to glue together and still use it. So this is like really, 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 I really like to buy it like this, because it's like really, really dramatic, like a thriller, you know, like a thriller. So you think this guy should be behind bars? and actually eat some pills for that kind of stuff or not i told you about the hidden corpses inside of the drawers and under the table and under the bed that kind of stuff remember when i talked to you about his private office about the corpses hidden inside of the closets and stuff or maybe at a police station at the director's office at the Now, these are not people, these are not fucking animals, nor are they people. They do not recognize the law, they don't recognize anything, they just... Uh... Due to unforeseen logistic issue, your order might be delayed three to five days, and the estimated delivery date will be updated. And then there is uh, combined delivery view detail. So this is, this is actually very, very good because it will come with, um, with uh, how can I say, with um, uh, it's a several pieces. So they, they, when they send this stuff, it definitely comes. It's not only one shipper, but it's like consolidated shipping. So here is the history about this baby here. Uh, it's kind of a strange, I have to admit right there. It doesn't tell me much about exactly what happened with this one here. So maybe I really will click on this item here that it says global, that kind of stuff here. And it says here delivering 13 days. So. Uh, I am not sure that I understand this stuff here. I am not sure that I understand this here. Uh, but um, export customs clearance complete. Uh, export custom clearance complete. Um, 
really, what is happening here with this stuff here? Arrived at line hall office, departed from departure country, arrived in... Now, I am just going to end with this one here. I don't uh, want to waste time with this anymore. And I will scroll to almost identical item that is listed right down below. And this is the one here. Well, I was making a pretty damn similar order. So it was uh, very important certain items for me to order through, make two orders and uh, basically use two different uh, orders to get those items, right? That's at least how I made predisposition. That's how I believe that AliExpress shipping would send me, ship me the stuff. What exactly happened is a good question. So this is probably, I would say, with the same, uh, I think it's like, a, it says here, combined delivery, you see? So they probably joined these packages together anyways. So the story about this stuff is pretty much the same thing, like the one I demonstrated you earlier, identical, identical stuff. I think they did put this stuff together. I made a mistake. I should have ordered that two, three days later or something like that. To make sure that it travels separately but i did not uh and it, then the rest of it ladies and gentlemen doesn't make any sense anymore right to to demonstrate you here the best would be for me to just go to the audio recordings uh and uh seal the deal before i would go to the audio recordings well, let me demonstrate to you basically this here up what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, well, yeah. Hopefully that you see that this is uh, inside of the postal office. I'm sure that you can see that I'm standing right there. And you can see the date is February the 22nd of 2024. So it will be this here. And then. I would do it like this so that you get that kind of stuff fine. So still today is Friday. You can see the date. No, it it's February twenty second, two thousand twenty four. Oh, and there you go. The postal office is just being <laughs> the lady, the lady stayed locked out. Uh, this is a uh, post of Slovenia, but they claim that they uh, this was delivered by um, one express. Obviously, it was. I demonstrated them SMS, and, and you have seen the SMS. Them, but I'm just the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this here. So and the so SMS I demonstrated I you from February the 21st uh, was the day earlier. Yes crazy uh, what was interesting is uh, oh no no, no no we don't want to delete that uh, the lady stated we don't know whose problem this is and I told her uh, you know you, you try to help yourself basically one another you try to cover up for one another basically we know whose problem this is this is basically what was delivered to me on January 18 and then again on February 21st but this is just yesterday basically I received two SMS's like how they will deliver the mail the package then that the package was not delivered because the address this address right there obviously is just simply unknown this was done from Express One Slovenia right there and I also demonstrated the lady basically what that looked like uh, right now she went over this the stuff you see here and uh, have seen exactly what you see here the address this is the address is right here this is it that's the address right there look and so she is seeing it she said that there is no there is no number and this and that and so you know that's basically how we do this this is how how it all works out no. So, there you have them. 
that's how it goes. So what we do is we go like this, then we go like that, yippity yippity yip. We click boom, like this. We take the recording. This is the one right there. Uh, during MK Ultra, uh, when I did spoke to the British Royals, and I did spoke to the people like the guy that you see here, this guy, Austrian guy, whatever guy from Hungary, wherever the guy is, um, Hungarian, Austrian, German, whatever it is. Um, uh, why don't I give him a little name here? Yeah. This kind of guys, I did confront them with the issue of pedophilia. You know, I did confront them during MK Ultra with the issue of the pedophilia. And you know what they told me? Uh, I told them, you're going to be charged as a pedophile, as a pedo, with the stuff you do. Uh, because it's the nature of the crime, it's such that uh, it's really done so heinously with laughter behind you and coughing and so on. It's really like pedophilic stuff, sickening shit. And I said, no, I cannot. They were laughing at me yeah, because you're, you're a dog, you're growing up. I can 100% assure you that you will be charged as a pedophile, every fucking one of you. Do you know why? You want to bet you're going to be charged also as a pedophile? Do you know why? Because this case started when I was nine months old. Maybe you didn't know that, but I already have proven you. This case did not stop since I was nine months old. And you're going to bear also the charges of the pedophilia. Talking about Prince Charles, now King Charles, Prince Andrew. I am the one who will prove you guys are pedos. It's also one of the things, one of the charges you're going to carry. Just wait and see if it can be done or not. Okay. Let's go to the audio recording. I stopped by the postal office in the city of the Novomest, the main postal office, city of the Novomest, on February the 22nd of 2024. February the 22nd, February 2024. Evening hours, just before they would close the office, it was a Thursday. Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. So I'm at the postal office. Uh, and they ask me a question, what can we do for you, sir? And we, we start the conversation about the SMS. And they're basically yeah. laughing at me. They say, no, this is not us. I ask on my name, name of my mother. My I told them I have an SMS, you know, and they look at my SMS, I give them the SMS, they look everything over. Da pišete kole exo dostava, ne, in pišete kole piše, ne. Pozdravljeni, vaša pošilka je danes naložena za dostavo in tako naprej. Pol piše tle razpoštovani, vaš paket bo dostavili med 8. in 18. ura, so vidite dostavi ali jo spremenite preko rrr. Vaš ekspres 1 Slovenija, februar 21. Potem piše tukaj spet za februar 21. in pošilka ni dostavljena neznani naslov prejemnika. Zgleda, da vas ne poznajo, da imate predjer. 
Ne zna ona vaša ta štegirka. Oh, so, I give them the SMS, I tell them they don't Novo mjesto pošta, in tako naprej, 8105, ne vej, jak je bi bo. And ja, ne vem, da te mi pokaži, Aha, če lahko vidim, zakaj se gre. One Slovenia. Je či to spoh mogoče ni preko pošte? Ne, ne. Ne, kaj one Slovenia. Pošta, že pošta, ja, ampak... Ja, ampak vi imate naslov, ti je naročno slov. Vse ja. so naročno naročne slov. Vse je na ta naslov tukaj, na poštno ležeče. Sledite, pravi, dostavi ali jo spremenite. Ja, imam te spremenite. Prosimo, preverite pravilnost naslova. Kaj ste šel tle noter? Ne, 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 Kaj jaz to niti ne znam, open with Chrome, delati s tem, kaj je dost. Čakaj, da vedem. No internet, ja. Nimaš mobilnih podatkov vklopljenih? Ni mogoče vklopljenih, ja. I turn the data on and so she can go and browse and see exactly what it damages. Evo, zdaj so poklopeni. Evo. Ja, tla le piše, kaj piše tla le. Site Express SE, tla pišemo s trinjem se. Status pošilke, pa ta je eno številke in tako naprej. In pol je tla le čist cela zgodovina, tla piše, ali se zboštjan pošta Slovenije, posta resante 8.05. Pa nič nis. Pošilka ni bila dostavljena, ker naslov prejemnika ne zna. Ok, it did go through the Budapest, wherever it was, and it just it just did not go through. It just did not go through. Uh, I gave my mom's name, my own name, everybody's looking for that package. But what's interesting to note, and it's very, very important for me to note this right here, right now, they're not looking up front. They're not looking at the usual location where they would usually look for the packages. Do you understand me what I'm saying? They now go to the room next door, the room that is uh, adjacent to the front lobby. You understand me? It's not okay because they were assuring me that the packages in the previous, it's evident from previous recordings, they were assuring me that all the packages are actually waiting up front. Uh, during MK Ultra, however, they are used uh, for a torture purposes. A reminder of how the letters from the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, from the court, from police, they all would be awaited me at the front. And from previous recording, it becomes evident where I actually argued on many recordings with the employees, questioned them how come they are not checking the area where the two ladies headed right now to check. That's basically to the room that is adjacent to the front lobby where reception is where they uh, serve their customers how come they left there because i was told just lately on so many occasions that they do uh, keep packages and stuff up front and so they tell me no 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 they tell me it's exactly the opposite <laughs> Ja, pak. 
Sem to so, to spoh ni šlo preko pošte, ampak Express One. Ja, ja, ja. In to, in ne vem po tem, kaj imamo mi z njimi. Ja, ne vem, če vaš vse vsega. Ja, se in žem. Ja, to pa ne vem, če ga v problem je zdaj ratov. Ne, jaz ne vem. Na carinsko pošto ne kupili. Jaz si probali. Carinsko. Vem, jaz če ga. This is a bit comical. Um, this is not the only package uh, that they screwed me up, talking about the government postal services, Slovenian postal service or Posta Slovenia. Because the ladies that she works at the Posta Slovenia, the postal services, she says to me, this is not ours. Well, yeah, this one really is not yours. But what happened with so many others? Because she's like, she's, she's like surprised, like she's acting like, wow. But this is not ours. Well, this one really is not yours. You know, what can I say? I mean, it's your address. But yeah, technically, really, this is not your uh, delivery to the postal office provided by your Slovenian Postal Services or Posta Slovenia. That's true. Uh, but that still does not excuse you from so many other deliveries that I never got that was stolen. Evidently, obviously they were stolen uh, and switched in between with broken package, with, with damaged stuff and so on. So, yeah, she says that this is from private company, from Express One, which we all know already, right? To ni nič, to ni poštna številka, to ni poštna, da bi jo lahko sledila preko pošta. Hey, this is really stupid. Uh, she says, she says, we have nothing to do with it. How you mean you have nothing to do with it? I mean, with so many packages that you have stolen, you're saying to me you have nothing to do with it when it's addressed, right? The address is your postal office, your postal place. Uh, the address is supposed to be delivered. So... At least I can come and ask if this package is here. No, I mean, I have the right to ask if this package is there. Uh, I know, like I said, I'm going to repeat, I know it was not delivered by the Slovenian Postal Services this time. This time, somehow, it was not delivered. Unlike so many times before it was. I know it was not delivered. Uh, I know it was delivered by the Express One. But at least I can come and ask, right? I mean, if it's if it's there, right? And it still doesn't mean, just as I have explained previously, that you're not liable also for this packaging because you negotiated a crime in front of me in this house, actually, in this home together with individuals that you see right there and other politicians, including British royalties. So how are you going to do this stuff to me? how you will continue to do the stuff to me. Like I said, it's the stuff that started when I was nine months old. And it did include also pedophilia issues. Yeah, yeah. And now you can see them on them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the other one, you can't tell them. No, no, no. The system is said. Yeah, okay. They advise me that I have to contact this Express One private company, that they are not responsible for this. Obviously, they're not, till they would receive the package at their location. But I have the right to come and ask, not only because of this, whatever package is, I don't even know what package we are talking about. It does not tell what package. Based on information that you have, that I demonstrated in you what you have seen, I still don't know which package. Because there's no such thing like a tracking number that would that would directly suggest uh, whether it's where is the package is even coming from. You understand? And foremost, because there was so many packages, they are still not being delivered. We're talking about I don't know how many packages there are still being confiscated, uh, stolen. You understand me what I'm saying? You do.
Tiet ir maina loga, maina loga, tu kaip prīdīt pa lompu kāzā. I have to come and ask, it's my duty. Ne? Ne? Kar pats, kā ir maina loga? Maina loga, es jau jau sāk, es glasītu, es sāk, jau sāk, jau sāk, ne? Vai primēru, čia sen es glasījumu, sāk, jau 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 sāk, I remind them of the rule that I am obligated to come and check on a packages every 14 days. If I don't come within those 14 days, the packages get returned to the senders back wherever they were shipped from. So it's my job to stop by and ask about these issues, inquire about these issues. In to it, Kuba is best no problems for an ologa. The pussy made it for Oops, listen for the plane. So, okay, so I leave basically. That's all there is. The rest, you have heard me talking, also demonstrating a video by the novel master. The next day. We go to the next issue. This is when uh, I come back the next day. The first thing I will do is I will demonstrate you uh, a video here I have, which is from February the 23rd, 2024. Let's see this. Bustian Ausitz, Alpa Ausitz, Anna Bibbo. Today, again, there was nothing. Uh, and, well, the lady went to check for the mail into the room next door, so uh, I asked them about how come that the room next door, uh, and they did not respond to that. Uh, there's basically a room that is adjacent to the main entrance lobby. Uh, I was actually, I was actually mistaken. It was on the 23rd, right now, which was the Friday, that they did go to the room that was adjacent to the to the to the to the front lobby. Yeah, the day earlier they did check up front, but the next day was the day when they would go and they would check uh, instead in the room that was next door. Yeah, uh, next door that was adjacent to the main lobby. Bustian Ausitz, Alpa Ausitz, Anna Bibbo. Today, again, there was nothing, uh, and, well, the lady went to check for the mail into the room next door, so uh, I asked them about how come that the room next door, uh, and they did not respond to that. Uh, there's basically a room that is adjacent to the main entrance lobby. Okay, let's go, uh, and I will play you the recording. The next day when I stop by the Nova Mr. Postal Office, really finally was a Friday, which is a mistake I had made a day earlier uh, when stating Friday. No, it was not Friday, it was Thursday, February the 22nd. Now, however, the recording you're about to hear is from February the 23rd of 2024. Again, February 2, 3, 2024. Friday it is, just prior to closing postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto, main postal office. <laughs> Posso aspettare glasso, lo potrò sentire da copo gleda za osa zbuštiano, al pa za osa tani, se ci sono che per slo hvala vam. Again, same procedure, good evening, uh, I stop by to check if anything arrived from me or my mom. Ne, jaz sem sem mislil, če je zame, ki je danes prišel, ki včeri sem bil tukaj in... Buštjan Ausec ali pa Ausec Ana bi bilo? Ja. Iz tu ine, ja. Iz tu ine bi bilo, ja. From abroad, yes. Vidim, da ste šli pa spet v tisto sobo, tam gledati. 
o sucesso não só a bolsa para o presidente que me lhe pôs esta próxima que ele gasta mais três dois I ask for the date, so I ask them, and the lady tells me it's February the 23rd, 2024. They tell me there is nothing. There is nothing. So I leave. But at this one thing, they don't want to comment about how they have not even checked anything for me up front. They checked at the room that is adjacent to the front lobby where they work. So... At least I got something again. So it, it's they, they they keep changing and doing stuff, whichever way it fits them. Yeah, the rest is basically I leave and uh, again there was nothing. Uh, and you have seen me already with uh, what I demonstrated. You was uh, well a video recording that I provided for you. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, I would not go and uh, bother myself with other issues. Uh, I would not demonstrate to you about how this order here from December the 9th, let's say, uh, whether it came, how it all traveled, or this one here from January 8th. Uh, this is the stuff already we discussed. I already demonstrated you these issues. Uh, it sure doesn't make any sense. Uh, every one of these items, however, had it's uh, this one I got. Sorry, I, I even demonstrated the wrong item. Um, this watch, they have actually, even the police recommended me this watch. However, what is interesting, they told me uh, this is for the children. If you are going to buy the watch like this, it must be with the metal housing and or, uh, I don't know, different color or whatever, and that kind of stuff. I mean, for every one of these items, except for these hats, I don't think it was the, the, the for the hats, or maybe it was. <laughs> we, we, we yet have to see this stuff. I don't recall that one. Uh, what you see here... Uh, this waterproof foam cases, uh, they already destroyed me one so efficiently that when I uh, used one, I literally break the first telephone uh, with it, according to MKH scenario. Uh, I, will not, I will not comment any of that stuff. Uh, for every one of these items, they have their own explanations, sadistic stuff on how it's going to be and how it's going to be and so on. Uh, I would uh, not go into into this item here. This was ordered on December the 23rd. And this is stupid. Uh, it was still not delivered. Uh, or let's say this one here from November the 25th. It was still not uh, delivered. Uh, or uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe these needles here, November 9 and so on, none of them delivered, basically. Uh, or maybe this one here, which was ordered on November the 5th, 2023, never delivered. I'm not going to be going and demonstrating you uh, delivery details about this stuff. It, it uh, doesn't make me any sense to do this stuff, to do this kind of stuff, you know? Um Beside that, uh, this is just one account. This is this this is the just two accounts that I demonstrated you right now. What about all the deliveries that belong to the other account? I have another account that I have ordered through, and it's exactly identical thing. It's the same thing. It also was it's confiscated and it's not being delivered to, you know. By the way. I have the watch here in my wrist, and I think it makes uh, about five minutes per month. I think it goes wrong, yeah? So this is the stuff that was delivered to me. Well, everything that arrived, even if it worked, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. There's always something with it when it comes to that does not work. Everything pretty much is broken.
they don't sell you the stuff they don't send you from china like this this is all the stuff according to mk ultra scenarios sadism sadistic pedophilia related stuff they continue to upload basically this is le royal a royal business pedophilia pedophilia business so this is basically another issue here that i demonstrated you um this glues here did not did not arrive uh, this stuff here also this is order on november the 14th this uh, charger flashlights uh, uh, those uh, earbuds none of this stuff arrived no november 14 november 14 none of this stuff arrived this is another account and then you have this one here November the 10th, never arrived. This glue never arrived. Yeah, the, all the stuff other that you have seen, whatever you all, everything was fucked up. Yeah, uh, the glue never arrived. Okay, another glue never arrived. I uh, I got one glue. I got one glue. All these glues, however, never arrived. Basically, and you have seen that whatever arrived, uh, everything was fucked up. Everything was broken. You were able to see with your own eyes. What is there to say? I mean, there is nothing to say. I'm not going to go and repeat to you. Hard drive is working very well. That I have to say. Uh, I will make. I will suggest you. This company is very good. This X-ray disc. Chinese. Very, very good. Highly recommend you. Uh, maybe I demonstrate you this. I make a little commercial for AliExpress for this company here. Uh, it's a good stuff. Okay, it works. It's reliable, just as uh, any other X-ray disc, whatever this is. Uh, all these companies were involved in MK Ultra. They would uh, have me in China. And they would bring me to these people, to these companies, every one of them. Highly recommend that stuff. So, all this stuff, you see this, this stuff here? All this stuff? This is all stolen, all this stuff here. Where is this completed? This is all the stuff that did not arrive. And the only thing that happened was, I just, I would go and uh i would demand uh, a refund for it and somebody some slovenian thug would get himself the stuff for free basically stolen this is the way it operated that's how they operated really this is ba this, this is basically the way it went this is the way it goes it goes all the time like this if, with if absolutely almost with absolutely everything is like this or you get broken, damaged, uh, or something they speculated you would make yourself look like a fool, that you would state something that uh, could be easily proven wrong, basically. You know, like the case was with the glue. Uh, it didn't come to me with the glue, uh, but uh, you know, the number, the expiration, the production, whatever it might have been cause it was basically deleted so that you could not even see one you could not even detect one with the eye basically you grab that in your hands you couldn't see the fucking thing so that being said there is nothing else to say these are just this is just in and out in english language about what happened where i was on February the 22nd again, or February the 23rd, both of the both days. Yes, I was at the postal office. I did check. I make another check. I got the SMS. It didn't make no fucking sense. And I give you also the explanation how they were doing, how they're doing their best, basically to mentally sicken. Interesting about the Prince Charles was that he allowed himself to select what uh, to my taste, basically. Which under MK Ultra, uh, I liked actually. I was uh, crazy enough to have trusted these scumbags, and uh, this is really odd. 
I wanted Charles to help me choose the stuff for me. That's how stupid I was. I was so stupid that I actually valued his opinion about my taste. Uh, he noticed that I like fine watches, fine things, not big, small, and almost like a, for the ladies. Uh, and uh, uh, he actually paid attention to that, and uh, it, it made me really feel good that, that uh, I don't know, that he cares about me, that, that he noticed what I like and so on. Uh, and uh, it ended up like this, that, that I was like a bubble, basically. That he saw me like, uh, he suggested me that you're not going to be buying a watch for the children and stuff like this. He said that you're not going to be buying a watch for the children. What the fuck, I mean? Uh, that you're not going to be, that you're not, that we're not going to see you buying a... Uh, said all this is going to go you're not going to have any of this stuff uh, they use other politicians uh, such as Pollocks they use and this Andrei Duda and Moravetsky they insisted well uh, and you think you're going to give this kind of watch to the children uh, the children that don't want stuff like this the children want the real watches they don't you think that they're going to thank you for the garbage like this, that you're going to give them, this is a memory or new, that they're going to, that you're going to give the children the stuff like this. No. It's nobody fucking business, this stuff. It really came into, into the category of uh, brazen, insultive way to fucking... Ridicule me basically in a, in a in a such a way that it's just speechless stuff. I mean, <sighs> thanks for watching this video. I am just uh, I don't want to think about this stuff. Look, uh, it's uh, it's a sick shit. People are sick. I don't understand, actually. I'm still trying to understand why you would do this to somebody and I think there was no, not a single actor in the Hollywood that would not go and uh, I think the English word for this is molest more than harrow. Harrow is probably about the same thing because you can molest in a different ways people, right? And uh, I think that 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 uh, this so-called Western civilization is just infected with the mental illness, infested with it. I it seems to me that that uh, that they don't have anything better to do, and that's quite sad, actually. That's all I'm going to say for this video. Today is February the twenty-sixth, two thousand and twenty-four.